Hello, hello, friends. Welcome back to my channel. This is Tiffany from TV Butter. So um, today I'm so excited because in this video I am going to introduce my new digital kit, which you can see right here. Um, so I'm gonna go through what are included in this digital kit, uh, what you will be able to receive, and um, later. I will upload another video which I will show you guys how I create a vintage theme diary by using this kit. So this kit is about a diary, a diary from a girl called Margaret. So I named this kit Margaret's Diary in 1926. So this kit is about the you know twenties um, vintage theme. So in this video, I'm just gonna go through it, show you what are included, what you will get. Um, so basically, I printed them out. This kit includes three pages. The first pages is this beautiful marble cover, like a book cover. It's a really, really old book. It looks like a really, really old book. It even has the hole to kind of like highlight where you can punch to make a journal which I really really like and I also include um, two vintage labels in here um, and on the book cover actually you will get another label um, I think I will include the version of the book cover without the label as as the um, add-on. I will also include in the kit, but I didn't print that out because it's basically the same. I really, really love this cover. I love the marble paper. I love all the vintage touch on this print, on this, um, you know, on this file, the cover. And yeah, it's like a worn out leather kind of feel and I really like the color combination of it. So I make this one as my book cover. And then the second page. Oh, by the way, I printed these two on the beige color cars dot. And then I printed this one on the um, plain white cars dot that I, I was I was thinking so I thought I can show you what's the differences maybe there's there are differences between uh, printed on the plain white uh, paper and the uh, beige or cream color paper but ended up I just think they are almost they are exactly the same um, I mean if you print it on the beige or cream color card style of paper it has a little bit yellowing showing at the background. You will see a little bit, but if you print something like this with the um, heavy colors or, you know, um, really dark colors, I I think there's no differences. Anyway, so this is the cover, and this is the photo page. I'm gonna go through one by one, and this one is a landscape. You can see the mountains, you can see the grasses, you have like missing corners. Oh, I just love this one. I have two landscape photos in here, and this one, the waterfall, is another one. I just love the rocks, the textures, and everything, the water, and oh, it's just so great. So this is our Margaret. <laughs> I love this name. I know I didn't pronounce it right, but I really, really love this name. I told my husband, if we have a daughter, if we are lucky enough to have a daughter, I'm gonna name her Margaret. But <laughs> my husband just rolled his eyes. Anyway, so this is Margaret. I love the picture for, I, I mean, I don't exactly know what's her name, but just name her Mar Margaret because I own the original photo of this beautiful lady and I really really like the dark background I love everything about her I love her color I love her maybe it's a jazz maybe just a top I love her earring I guess that's pro and then I love her smile I love her makeup I love her hairstyle oh my god 
she is so beautiful stunning stunning so i think i would like to include her in this kit and this is another photo of the victorian um like a market i think it's a it's a supermarket or a public market in the victorian era you can see the jazzes and the hat and everything is a lot of people in here i also i own all the original um copy original photo in here i love them all i love them so much oh i, I should have show you as well but oh well they're in my studio um but anyway i just scan them and just tune the color a little tiny bit oh i love them so much you can see there is some you know damaged in the corner which as the characters love love that and this one this one is a haunted house <laughs> i thought i think is on is an haunted house anyway so it's a house i think it's a farm i don't know um i really like the bricks texture in here there is a teeny tiny lady standing by the door i think i think there's a lady and she's wearing like super vintage old um skirts i i don't know maybe this photo is from like even 19th century i really don't know but it just look haunted i love the color i love how it turned out and yeah and last but not least this is a group of four people um in this photo i think they're margaret's friend so i put them in here they are wearing uniform though um i think is some officer or they they were in the army i'm not too sure but they are having a great time margaret is not in this photo because he was taking photo of her friend which are those four people so that's why she's not in this photo but those are her friend and they went out for dinner that's why she took a picture of her friend so this is the uh, photo page you have some nature you have tons of people you have some houses Ooh, gorgeous gorgeous i love it last but not least you will have envelope of course i love i love envelope i love vintage letters i love stamps so that's what you have in here so i also own these envelopes as well so i kind of like scan them edit the color again and i also own the stamps anyway take a look of the envelope don't you just love let me focus okay don't you just love the writing oh my gosh um this letter this envelope actually is from 1919 if you can see the stamps right there yep right there oh I love the writing so much. I'm so lucky to own the original envelope. I will never e ever give it up. Anyway, this is another 1920, I believe, the next year. Um, still gorgeous, gorgeous. And this one actually is an unfolded envelope, which you can fold it up into a little teeny tiny envelope where you can store your you know no little little notes secrets anything you want um which i will show you in them not in a minute when i create a little diary with you guys i will show you how i use this one in the in the diary and then you have a bunch of vintage stamps right here i really love the color scheme i love red i love green i love blue and i especially love this one and this one Oh my god they're so pretty okay anyway so these are the digit kit that you will have but of course i will also include some bonus like an add-on i will include the the binding um the binding part for the book cover because in the project which i will show you later i didn't make a hardcover or i didn't use the binding so that's why i didn't include it here i just trim it down and then fold it that's it um that is the project that i'm going to try with you all i'm so excited um so if you print it normally 
Um, the measurement is three inches by by five point seventy five inches. That is the normal size that you can print. If you want it bigger, you can do it. You can do it. I'm using PC. I'm not sure about Mac or other computer. I'm using BC. PC. I'm using PC computer. So um, it, when you print, it will has a little window showed up. If you unclick, unclick the fit in the frame option, it will you, you can print it bigger, which is this size. Um, I use this size in the project that we are going to um, to do together. So this is the size that you can get, which is 3.78 inches by 6.25 inches. For the signature inside of the, um, of the little diary, um, the size is 3.75 by 6.15 inches. So that is the size that I'm going to use. But if you print it normally, if you click the fit in, no way. Okay, sorry. Um, sorry. So if you check, <laughs> oh my God, I'm so stupid. If you check the fit in the frame option, you will get the bigger one, okay? You will get the bigger one. If you unclick it, if you print it normally, you will get a smaller size. Okay, the opposite. Girls, I knew it, I knew it. I will make some mistake. So if you check, click the fit in in the frame option, you will get the bigger size. If you unclick, don't check it, you don't check it, you will get the normal size. Okay, that's it. So this is the digital kit I am going to release today. I believe I, I, I will struggle. I will struggle with the uh, SE shop, the computer for a while because each file is like 30, 31 megabyte. I don't know how I'm going to throw online on the SE shop. Maybe I need to make it smaller, which I really don't want. I really want to keep the quality of the print because I scan everything. I try to keep the highest quality as I can. So that's why you can see there is the details of each print is so gorgeous. Um, but I will figure it away. I will figure it away. Also in the kit, uh, like I said, I will, um, I will throw the scan of the binding in there. I will throw the scan of the book cover without the label. So you can, if you want a book cover without the label, you can totally print that out. But if you prefer the book cover with the label, you can also get this one. So there are two versions of the book cover. One is without the label, one is with the label. Up to you, up to you. So I will also throw that two, um, the two files on SD Shop. So um, that's it. And stay tuned for my next video. Probably I am struggling editing them <laughs> right now. I am so sorry about the lighting, the lighting for my, my next video because I have to film it in my studio. Right now I'm just sitting in my living room with a big window with the perfect lighting. But back in my studio, I have a smaller window and my my desk is not right beside the window. So the lighting is coming from the right. Um, I, I think I caused a lot of shadow, but I really, really wanna put it on, on my YouTube channel. I'm going to create a vintage diary with you all by using all the ephemera here. And of course, you will see how I make a little, little notebook um, by the digital printing and everything. So stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for that. I'm struggling, so please take a look. I'm really, really proud of myself to have this digital kit. I know it's been a long time, but I'm trying. I'm really, really trying. I have so many, so many vintage um, papers, letters, and, and 
Some of them, they are from the Victorian era. I really want, really want to scan them all and make a lot of digital kits and throw them on my Etsy, but I just don't have the time. But trust me, I will do it slowly, slowly. And, and I am still making notebooks right now. But um, on this weekend, I won't be able to do it because I am off to Portland. Very soon, actually, it's at um, 6 p.m. today. I'm really, really excited and I'm coming back on Sunday. So feel free to contact me on Etsy um, or send me an email. I will link all my, all my contact information down below if you are interested in. Um, I will also link the link to this digital kit down below on my Etsy. And I'm working six Travers notebook size junk journal right now. And then I also have a brief idea, idea of what I'm going to make for the next um, hardcover junk journal. Uh, because I made the Monet, I made Van Gogh, and the next one, uh, there is someone else, someone new, someone else uh, who the artist is one of my favorite. It's one of my favorite. He, I compared to, oh, oh my God, I, I've thrown too much information. Anyway, anyway, stay tuned for what is coming. And I'm so, so, so excited. I have more videos to um, to share with you all and ideas. I also, I also do alcoholic pouring. I still have that in my computer. I haven't edited them yet. I just don't have the time. I just don't have the time. But anyway, um, so this digital kit probably is on my SC already. Please feel free to take a look. And I will post the video of how I make the diary as soon as possible. I don't think I can finish today, but I will try, okay? I will try. Okay, anyway, um, thank you so much for stopping by and I wish you a great day. I wish you a happy, wonderful weekend and see you soon. Bye-bye.